Welcome to World in Two Minutes. These are your headlines. South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley called on lawmakers to take down the Confederate battle flag from the state capitol grounds, where it has flown at the state house in Columbia for half a century. Haley's position follows the Charleston Church massacre as federal authorities are investigating the attack as a hate crime and an act of terrorism by accused white gunman Dylan Roof, who had posed with the flag in photos posted online. An Israeli military ambulance carrying two opposition fighters was attacked by Druze villagers in Majjal Shamstown, situated in the Israeli annex Golan Heights. Around 200 members of the town threw rocks at the ambulance, the second attack by Druze on an Israeli military ambulance in less than 24 hours. The Druze argued that opposition fighters in Syria are committing atrocities against their communities and have called on Israel to stop treating injured fighters and instead arm their communities to fight against the advances of Al Nusra. British police have arrested Rwanda's intelligence chief Karanzi Karake in London at the request of Spain. Karake, who is wanted in Spain for war crimes, will remain in custody until Thursday when he is set to appear before Westminster Magistrate Court. He is accused of ordering massacres while head of military intelligence in the wake of the 1994 Rwanda genocide. He is also accused of ordering the killing of three Spanish nationals working for Doctors Without Borders. The South Korean Ministry of Health reported three more new cases of the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, bringing the total number to 175 in the country. The death toll has reached 27 in South Korea. The country's health ministry reported its first MERS case on May 20th with the entrance of a South Korean man who traveled to Saudi Arabia. Thanks for watching TRTWorld.com, Istanbul.